I almost got off after listening to, uh, to Trav. He said everything that needed to be said. Um, but guys, listen, absolutely. So I, I, I really appreciate this opportunity to jump on and, and the fact that you're even having uh, these uh, Facebook Lives, Pastor Dixon, just to uh, educate individuals and to give them an opportunity to hear about what makes us Democrats and why we are part of this party. Uh, thank you, Trav, for uh, uh, coming on in, in all the things that you said. Um, listening to you talk about your mom and dad, I, I, I thought about my mom and I remember just being a young boy, and I remember maybe 11 years old, she had an older coworker at her job that needed her grass cut. And I remember uh, going to that house during the summertime. It was hot. The grass was hot. It may have been to my waist. And I remember cutting the grass that day, and um, after cutting the grass, sweating, uh, being in the hot sun, I said, well, how much am I going to get paid? My mom said, you're not going to get paid anything. She says, you're doing this out of the kindness or out of the goodness of your heart. And if you don't have any goodness, find some goodness and do it from that place. And I think for the rest of my life or, 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 or years later, I still live off that whole concept that I'm doing things out of the goodness of my heart. That's what Democrats do. We serve out of the goodness of our heart, not expecting anything in return but our job is to serve individuals. That's why when we elect uh, our officials, we're not electing we're not electing elected officials. We're we're electing public servants, individuals who have a desire and a resume uh, of serving. I, I, we we love Republicans. They may not get our votes, but they will get our love, and they will get us uh, working and serving them as well. Um, so you mentioned earlier, Pastor Dixon, to to talk about uh, North Charleston. North Charleston is. Uh, uh, the third largest city in this state. It is a a city in this uh, this county that has a majority Democrats that live in that area, and we are doing a lot of things uh, in the North Area Club. Uh, you wanted me to mention that, and we uh, right now we took a pause, took a break for the month of February, just to uh, regroup, to uh, establish uh, a. a plan for the north area we've gone overlooked and underserved for years and we want to make certain that when we start a backup guys that we start up and we have the right plan and we have the right individuals in place to lead uh this area because north charleston is going to determine a lot of races uh in in charleston county and just throughout this state so um again incredible opportunity for us to kind of get back together. We have had several voter registration drives this year, uh, and mainly in uh, those voter registration drives has mainly been in North Charleston. And we plan to uh, stick uh, in North Charleston and, and uh, 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 pretty much uh, just get North Charleston to be one of the individuals, one of the areas that helps lead this state. Um, again, thank you for this opportunity to come on. Uh, I, I hope to uh, have an opportunity to meet several of you guys. I think Trav mentioned, Suzanne, you're running for state senate uh, to be able to support you and, and support you in this uh, in this state and be able to make phone. North Charleston, guys, it is a club or it is an area, guys, that we we're not just uh, supporting North area. We're supporting all of the uh, all of this state. I think we have uh, uh, Charleston County, Berkeley County, and Dorchester County. We have formed this group where we are able to uh, support candidates that cross county lines. I think there's no need for us to be successful in Charleston County and not support individuals uh, in the other counties because if we don't support the other counties, then we could lose seats. Guys, we have an important election year this year. We're trying to put a governor, uh, a Democrat, in the governor's mansion. We're trying to put a, uh, a Democrat in the U.S. Senate to be Tim Scott, and we need help all around. So thank you again. I'm going to stick on a little longer as well. I have a few meetings uh, also, uh, but thank you for having me.